Porsche wants you to say hello to the baby Panamera due out in September. How cute. We see the Infiniti Q30 totally naked, hey now, and Ford reveals its most luxurious F-150 ever in the history of the world of Ford ever world. Plus, Hyundai wants to send the U.S. something special, but it rhymes with Boss Clover. You do the math. Also, it's Thursday, so we have your FLD question of the day. Hey, everybody, I'm Derek D, and I appreciate you being here. And here is this show called Fast St. Dale. Isn't that right, Erica? It is. Mm -hmm. She's right. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this bombshell I'm about to drop on you? Like, well, check out this gem of information. Hyundai, right, is working on a new compact crossover for the U.S. Yeah, I'm so excited. They figured since we aren't getting the global model Hyundai Creta or Creta because its styling is too conservative for the American market, that's their words, not mine, uh, they want to go for a younger crowd with us. So they're going to give us something else, Erica. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, very likely it will be a subcompact to rival the Mazda CX-3, Honda HRV, Nissan Juke, and Jeep Renegade. And it will be based on the Hyundai Veloster's chassis. All these crossovers, I tell you, though, are getting overly crossed. If you know what I mean, right, Erica? Yep. I don't even know if I know what I mean. Uh, I but you know what I mean. And too many crossovers is what I'm saying. Yep. Sticking to it, Ford has revealed its, quote, most advanced and luxurious truck ever with a special edition 2016 F-150 Limited. What's so special about it, Derek D? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Erica, because I'm going to tell you. Okay. Enhancements over the normal F-150 include 19-inch polished alloy wheels and the limited lettering on the hood, of course. So when you look in your rearview mirror, you know it's special. Well, I guess, I guess you would read it as de Timmel because it would be reversed, because it's in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would look like the Timmel. Mm -hmm. That's limited backwards. The front grille uh, has a different look. There's a satin chrome badge on the tailgate, a chrome front bumper, body color rear bumper, chrome exhaust, and four color options. Blue jeans, of course, it's a pickup truck. Yep. Yep. Uh, magnetic, ooh, shadow black, and white platinum metallic. Plus, you get a bunch of interior technology. The cabin adds a different instrument cluster, aluminum accents, a 10-speaker Sony sound system, Sync 3 infotainment system with app link, and pretty much every interior luxury option you can choose for the F-150. Powering this F-150 Limited is an EcoBoost 3.5 liter V6 engine with 365 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. That's right, Erica. Pricing will be announced soon, but it's going to be pretty expensive for a pickup truck. I mean, let's be honest. But remember, you could still throw some hammers back there or throw some golden hammers back there because it's, you know, it's expensive, mm -hmm. you know, gold, you know, but, uh, oh, I love that. Built for tough. Yeah. I just love that sign drop into the concrete. I can watch it over and over. Let's so get it one more time. Mm. Ah, I love it. So good. I really do. Guy who had that idea at Ford, good, good marketing nice. person. Yeah. Here's the first official picture of Infinity's new subcompact luxury crossover, the Q30. I actually think this one looks pretty good. Almost hatchback, almost, almost hatchback-ish. Mm -hmm. But I do like the lines and curves. It's, it's pretty cool. It'll debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September, and it does look a lot like the concept we saw back in 2013. The differences appear to be its front bumper, which has fog lamps instead of chrome trim, and a reshaped lower grille. Those concepty door handles, are also gone as expected. You also never get those, you know, the slim side view mirrors you always see on concepts. Yeah. And they never make it to production either. The Q30 2.2D version will be powered by a 2.2 liter Mercedes Benz source diesel engine. In the Q50 sedan, it makes 168 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. Yeah, that's a lot. It will be paired with either a six speed manual or a seven speed automatic transmission. Cool to see that Infinity is still hanging out with Mr. Manual. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, he's a good guy. I know him personally. On many cars I've driven, he's been right there with me. Nice guy, a real mensch. Real friendly. Real friendly, Mr. Manual is. Yeah. You know? It's a shame. It's been a while since we heard any news of the Porsche Pajun, aka the baby Panamera. The latest says 
The June concept will debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show as a hatchback sedan like the Panamera with an all-electric powertrain. Yep, it's electric. A production version has already been approved and will go on sale in 2018 or 2019, taking design aspirations from the next generation Panamera. It'll probably look pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, when it officially does go on sale, it will come in normal gas or petrol, hybrid and electric versions. So heads up Tesla Model S, the Pajun is coming for you. That just doesn't sound menacing, Pajun. Mm -mm. Kind of sounds like a garden tool you would use. And I pajuned all the pansies and pagoda lilies over there. Right? <laughs> just, sure. I don't know. It seems, seems like something works. All right. It's time for your FLD question of the day. This one comes from FLD fan Nathan. So uh, take it away, Nate, assuming people call you that for short. Right. Yeah. Hey, Fazlan Daily. I'm at uh, the long hauler ceremony for the Hot Rod Magazine Power Tour. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the Hot Rod Power Tour, it's basically a big road trip, and this year it went from Madison, Wisconsin to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's over now, but uh, the cool thing is you can join up and drive with them along the way at any point. They do cruise nights and stuff. It's free to go there. Uh, so anyway, uh, what is your question? And uh, my question for you guys, for your question of the day, is if you could pick any of the, uh, the organized uh, car tours in the world, which one would you go to? All right. So uh, you asked if you could pick any organized car tour, which would you go to? Now, I can't say I'm professional in knowing the full car tour roster that exists. So first, let me see what yours is, Nate. My tour well, of choice is game the game Hot Rod Power game. Tour. So, Very range road. of different That's vehicles and you know, you never really always have a lot of fun and we don't wake up make cool new old. family members in a it's sense. Bad. All right, so you picked, it, it makes sense, you picked the exact, the exact tour you're actually at right now or that you made in this video. That does make sense. And yet, yeah, it's always nice to meet new car family members. And I'm sure there's a bunch of awesome old muscle cars there and uh, old school hot rods there as well. Um, okay, so for me, I'm actually not sure how many car tours there are per se. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot, but, I, but I've been to Waterfest before, which is a big VW and Audi meetup at Raceway Park in uh, Englishtown, New Jersey. I've been there in a long time, but uh, see a lot of cool stuff there. You also see a lot of not cool stuff there. People that think they're some, some, a lot of it's really, really good. Uh, I mean, I've been to Formula Drift races, which is a tour. Uh, it's fun to go there, watch those guys get cars sideways going fast. Wall Stadium, been the, that's right near me. It's been fun to go there. Uh, I guess you could consider like Bull Run and Gumball 3000 tours, but they're not free to go to and go experience. They cost a lot of money to join, and I think. If I'm not mistaken, one of them's like gonna be canceled. I don't know. It's a, it's a whole thing going on with that, because reckless drive. It's a whole thing. So yeah, I guess that's my answer. Um, maybe there is some awesome car tours in other countries that I haven't heard of. If you folks know of any, let us know in the comments below. Um, so yeah, anything uh, anything else, Nathan? Keep up the awesome work, and uh, yeah, take her easy. Yeah, man. Well, hey, you take. We'll, we'll, we'll take her easy but only if she wants to come. You can't just take her. Then you'll have Liam Neeson looking for you and he has a particular set of skills and it probably won't end up well for you. You know, I mean, that's just, I mean, he's, he's a beast. Yeah. So you gotta be careful. Anyway, let us know what you think using hashtag FLDQ of the D and you can send your own video just like Nathan did to Erica. Do you know that? Tips at FastlaneDaily.com. That's the one. And please send your videos. Guys, remember, we want landscape mode also Ladies, we had like a little influx of a bunch of videos from the ladies. We'd like some more. Send them in. Ask away. You know, we'll get you on the show. All right, so we appreciate it. And that is going to do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody. And if you haven't checked out Fastlane Daily's show you page, click the link in the description. Or you could just go to showyou.com slash Fastlane Daily. All right, give it a go. All right, we'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Friday. 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 Bye. Bye. Oh man, check out this gem of information. Hyundai, Hyundai. And they forget, and, and they forget a younger crowd. What is that saying, and forgets a younger crowd? Really?
That was like seven days because it was weak. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah.